Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new, welcome. My name is Gretchen. This is Beautiful Mess, and I make videos on cleaning, organization, and motherhood lifestyle. So, if you are interested in that type of content, then go ahead right now and click that red subscribe button and then hit the little notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. So, I am really excited and I just wanted to make this video to say thank you because I reached 100 subscribers and I am really excited that 100 of you have Click that red subscribe button. You guys are watching, you're liking, you're commenting, and I am just thrilled to see, um, to me that is a really big milestone. 100 subscribers, that's, you put 100 people in a room, that's a lot of people. So, with that being said, I just wanted to talk a little bit about why I started this channel. So, Two years ago, my sister-in-law introduced me to um, some channels that I think it was Do It On A Dime she introduced me to. And through Do It On A Dime, I found a lot of other YouTube moms and just started watching um, different, different channels about cleaning or organization or home decor or just motherhood. And I really enjoyed uh, watching them and so many of them were very motivating and encouraging and just I, I loved what they did and that was all new to me because before that I had never I didn't even know um, that was a thing to that moms on YouTube were doing so so I had no idea and I have ended up loving it and so I just thought to myself one day and I had a conversation with my husband and I said I mean, I'm good at cleaning and organizing, and I'm a mom, so, you know, maybe I should do this, and I thought about it for a long time, and I filmed a few things for a long time, and I didn't do it, and I kept putting it off, and I kept, I was so scared and so nervous, because if you know me, then you know that I am an introvert, and I feel like something like this was just way out of my comfort zone. So, it was probably in the summer of last year that I started filming and trying to get comfortable in front of the camera, but I did not put up my first video until November of last year. So, and then I didn't really start working on it until January after the holidays was when I got more serious about it. So, I am happy to see it growing and I am happy to see the response that everyone has given me so I'm thrilled about that but yeah that is what that is what just led me to doing my own channel and in that I learned that I really enjoy this wholeheartedly I love it I am enjoying the creativity side of it before this, I couldn't edit a video to save my life. I have just, um, and still learning, there's so many more things that I want to do and experiment with on my channel. So, there's so much still to learn and I'm so excited for that. Also, the other thing that I wanted to talk about when it comes to this channel, I know I've heard some comments about all you do is clean or you know, your house is always so clean. Um, before, I've also heard comments of, because, you know, when people would come to my house, they would be like, do you let your kids play, or things like that, and if you're coming over to my house, yes, I'm going to clean up my house, and I'm going to pick up the toys, and I'm not gonna leave them thrown around, of course. On a daily, day-to-day -day basis, when we are here, my kids, they play in this house. They throw toys everywhere. I think I had a stroller in my bathroom this morning and some LOL dolls on my nightstand. I mean, every inch of this house has toys. Now, do I teach my children how to clean them up at the end of the day? Yes, I do. Um, 
Do I not let my kids play with their toys? No, that is not true. I am not telling my kids all day to clean up their toys. They play, they make a mess, they enjoy living in this house, and at the end of the day, when all is said and done, it is time to clean up and they know that they need to put their toys away. So we make messes. We just, we leave things thrown around. Yes, I try my best to, at the end of the night, leave certain parts of the house clean. It is harder when I am working full time and then I come home. So many things don't get done throughout the week. Things like clothes piling up, things like dust, you know, dusting. Things like that, those things kind of get pushed back during the week when I am working full time. So during the summers is a little bit different for me because I have the summers off with my kids. So I am more in that like stay at home mom routine. I try to find a routine that works to you know to be productive and to get things done but at the same time enjoy my time with my kids so i don't spend absolutely all my time cleaning i just want to get that out there because i know some people are probably like uh i don't want to watch her or i don't like her because she you know she doesn't let her kids play with toys or her house is immaculate and that's not realistic and no guys it that isn't realistic Every inch of my house is not organized. Every inch of my house is not spotless. I do enjoy cleaning. That I am weird in that aspect. I always have been. Ask my mom. She knows that like I would be the one who would come out of the bathroom and everything would be in its place when I came out. When my sisters came out, it would be like totally opposite. Guys, I love you. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just trying to make a point here that I have always been a super clean person. It's just who I am and it's in my blood. But as the years go by and I have had kids, I have learned how to adjust. I have learned how to be realistic when it comes to cleaning and just knowing that at the end of the day, if something's not done, that's okay. It's, you know, it's not the end of the world. I am still working on this. This is something that I am still working on because I will be honest before I would push myself until I overexerted myself on a work day and wanted to make sure every inch of this house was spotless. So now it is more realistic to the point that if the kitchen is cleaned up after dinner and the toys are at least cleaned up off the floor and the table is cleaned up then we're good. If there's still clothes on the couch, that's okay. The bathrooms aren't clean, that's okay. If the rooms aren't perfect, that's absolutely okay. I want you guys to know that I try to be as real with you guys as possible. Motherhood is, it's a roller coaster. And so when you are trying to be a wife, a mom, whether you work full time or you stay at home, and you are trying to learn how to do it all or don't really know how you're ever going to do it all, um, you know, it's good to hear other moms say, it's okay, you can't do it all. I don't do it all. I don't have it all together and I don't get it all done. Please don't ever think that because that is far fetched, like far from the, the actual reality of things. So I am not perfect and I don't try to make it seem like I am. So I just wanted to tell you guys that and I want this channel to grow to motivate other moms and just to encourage you in everyday life. So I hope that I am doing that guys. If you ever have any suggestions for videos, please let me know. Drop me a comment below and I would love to see what you guys, you guys are the ones who are watching these videos so I want to know what your suggestions are and in that I just want to wrap this up I don't I don't want to take too much longer thank you guys again for all of your support I love you guys and I'm excited to see this community grow and just thank you thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart thank you I'm very excited about this and just to see where this is going. So, I love you guys.
Take care, God bless, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.